everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. If you've not already guessed by the title, today I'm going to be doing my top 10 feminine fragrances. Now this is all about fragrances that I feel are the most feminine, that it exude that kind of pretty girl energy, if that makes any sense at all. And this is a category I've been reaching for personally a lot more recently because I've been feeling that kind of sweeter, kind of softer, more girly type of fragrance vibe. So if you like the sound of that, then please do keep on watching. But before we get started on the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It really helps this channel out and I'll continue making content like this in the future. Plus, I would love it if you could join me over on Instagram. I have popped my handle on the screen. I just love chatting to everyone within the direct messages and I'm regularly posting to my stories asking what YouTube content I should film next. So now that's out of the way, let's get started on my top 10 feminine fragrances. Now the first fragrance that I wanna share is by La Orchestra Parfums and this one is called Rose Trombone. And I absolutely love the bottles from La Orchestra. They are clear on three sides, but then it has the black panel and it just creates this really cool kind of shadowed effect. However, let's get started on what the actual juice smells like. And I think this is one of the most pretty, girly, feminine fragrances, especially within my collection anyway. It is a clean smelling rose fragrance, but not like the clean rose fragrances that you're probably thinking about. It's not super powdery. It is actually pretty juicy because it has a pear note and I absolutely really love the pear in here. It brings a lightness and a very juicy element, but then you have the rose and then a beautiful musk within the dry down. It's a little bit sugary, it's a little bit sweet, it definitely has vanilla in there too, and I believe there's a boozy note, but I personally don't pick that one up at all. But when I want to smell fresh and girly and clean, this is a fragrance that I will definitely reach for because I think it is so beautiful and it exudes that kind of feminine energy that I will sometimes love to emit. So yeah, I think Rose Trombone is truly special and I just feel like a clean, fresh, soft, floral girl when I wear this one. Next up, we have a fragrance, which I actually found when I was on the hunt for a perfect bridal scent. And I don't know if I've spoken about this one on my channel yet. However, this fits perfectly within this list. And it is by Floral Street, and it is called Wonderland Peony. And from the list, this is one of the more affordable fragrances. This is a very, very sweet. So what does it smell like? It has a really juicy guava note up top and it to me smells like, I don't know if they sell this in all countries, but if you've ever tried Rubicon guava juice, it smells exactly like that to me. But then what makes it smell more like a perfume is it has lots of florals in there as the name suggests. So the main notes in here, as the name suggests, is peony, but it also has violet. And that peony is definitely at the front stage and center. But to me, there's so many fruits in here that it almost becomes more of a fruity fragrance than a floral fragrance. You've got lemon, you've got berries, you've definitely got the guava. That is the note that stands out the most. But there is also a little bit of raspberry. But for those who really love a sweet fragrance, this has a cotton candy note and it is totally sweet. This is one of the sweetest fragrances in my whole collection, and I definitely have to be in a certain mood to wear this. However, I do think this is an ultra feminine fragrance. I think it would make a really good bridal fragrance. As I said, I found this when I was on the hunt for that. I don't know if I would wear it personally as my bridal scent, because it's maybe a little bit too sweet for what I'm looking for, but for those of you who really love a peony fragrance, you love the sound of the fruity notes within here, I would highly recommend you check this one out. I think it would be completely mass appealing. I think men would love this, truly. I've not actually worn this out of the house around anyone else yet, so I can't really tell you about the compliments. However, I have a feeling that this one would definitely get the compliments. Truly spectacular. And I think most of the fragrances from Floral Street are phenomenal, to be honest. This is the sweetest one that I've tried from them. But yeah, highly recommend you trying them because I got a discovery set and found so many favourites within the range. The next fragrance is another peony forward scent and that is by Ex Nihilo and this one is Fleur Narcotique. And this one is definitely a feminine girly scent in my opinion. 
another one that would be a perfect bridal scent. It's definitely a top contender for me personally. I'm getting married next year and I adore Flemme Aquatique. It is so chic, so classy, but lasts all day. Now it definitely has a peony note in there. It is totally noticeable. But what I love about Flemme Aquatique is it has that lychee note, which I love in fragrances. I can't get enough of lychee within fragrances. Ooh. You also have a very juicy kind of peach note in there. It has jasmine, but also orange blossom. And that orange blossom is definitely noticeable within the fragrance. I also mentioned in a video that this smells a little bit similar to Almond Jane's Levant, but Levant doesn't have the moss note. And let's get on to the moss note within this fragrance. So this is definitely a sweet floral fragrance. However, it has a moss note in the base, which gives it this unique vibe to the composition and almost grounds it with a little bit of earthiness so it's not too sweet. Sometimes I don't like a fragrance which is too linear and too sweet within the florals. So like Wonderland Peony is completely linear, sweet, fruity floral. Whereas this has something different about it. It's really hard to describe unless you kind of compare it against other similar fragrances. It has a little bit of woodiness and it also has musk in the base. But what I mostly get from this is the lychee. I get the orange blossom, I get the peony, and I get that earthiness, whether or not it's from like the moss or the woody notes. I just think it's phenomenal and it's an ultra girly scent in my opinion. It's also elegant, it's very chic, and yeah, if you like fragrances like Parfums de Mali Delina, but you wanna try something a little bit different, this is the one I would recommend to try because I just think it's very beautiful. The next feminine scent is by Zerjoff, the Casamaratti line, and this one is Dama Bianca, and this is totally a very feminine and girly fragrance. And again, it's very appropriate for a bridal scent, so if you're looking for a bridal scent too, some of these fragrances might be perfect for you. This one is a lot softer than the fragrances that I've already talked about. Actually, Rose Trombone is soft, but this one is even softer than that. It is a very kind of clean, floral, vanillic, but slightly musky scent. And the muskiness is definitely coming from the lilac, the iris. I think it's got violet in there too. It definitely has a citrusy vibe up top, which is coming from lime, I think, or kumquat. I can't quite remember the note. Oh, and then it's just got so much vanilla in the base, to me anyway, and a musk. And yeah, I can't speak highly enough of Dama Bianca. I know so many other people love this fragrance too, and for good reason. I don't wear it that often because for me, the longevity is not all day. But when I just want to smell beautiful, floral, and kind of crisp and clean, I would definitely reach for Dama Bianca. And yeah, she's just a beautiful one, to be honest. And if you want to feel feminine, this is one of those fragrances that will definitely help you smell feminine too. Next up, we have Mason Francis Kirk Dijon's Gentle Fluidity Gold. And this one is definitely a very pretty girl fragrance, in my opinion. It is so special from Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. And I slept on it for far too long because I've said it in another video, but whenever you go to the counter, they have a lot of very strong, very beast mode fragrances, and this kind of gets overshadowed a little bit. However, once I actually tried it properly on the skin, I really realized how beautiful it was. The simplicity is what makes it so perfect. So in essence, it's a very vanillic scent. It does have a little bit of amber in there, but the juniper berries make this so different. Have a little bit of coriander a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of musk but what i mostly get from this is just a very pretty vanillic fragrance with a little bit of juniper and a little bit of musk and i know a lot of other people love this fragrance it could definitely be a signature scent if i did have a signature scent this would definitely be in the running alongside a few other fragrances i think one of them is actually in this list but yeah gentle fluidity gold is definitely that pretty girl vibe Next up, we have another Zerjo fragrance from the Casamaretti line, and this time we have Bouquet Adile. And this one is so pretty, in my opinion. Now, the name would suggest that it's a very floral fragrance, but it is not at all. And even the notes wouldn't necessarily sound feminine, but to my nose, I just pull a very kind of vanillic red berry fragrance. It's a little bit sexy, and I've tried to keep this video less about being a sexy feminine fragrance and more pretty feminine. It has a tad bit of sexiness in there. 
But the notes actually have cinnamon and nutmeg, tonka bean and woods. And I just think it's so pretty. It does also have tobacco blossom in there, which I personally don't pick out on my nose anyway. If you do have this fragrance, please do let me know if you pick out that tobacco blossom note. Also has lots of woods in the mid. I think it has cedar, guyac wood and sandalwood. But what I truly get from this is kind of like a red berry vibe, definitely with the tonka bean, it's vanillic. And I do pick out a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon. It is a feminine fragrance in my opinion. I definitely feel very feminine when I wear this. I think it's ultra gorgeous little bit sexy like I mentioned and yeah I just feel very pretty when I wear this one it would suit a red dress to be honest so if you were wearing maybe a red silk dress or red silk blouse I think that would be a beautiful vibe or even like my hot pink top that I'm wearing at the moment so yeah one of my feminine choices is bouquet idylle next up we have a fragrance from Golan and this time we've got Mon Golan EDP and this is an absolute classic I think it's very feminine and very girly in essence, it's a vanillic fragrance with a little bit of lavender, a little bit of tonka bean, and it does have a licorice note, but it still pulls ultra feminine. It's stronger than some of the other fragrances I've spoken about at the moment. This definitely packs a punch. And it could be because of that licorice note, but also the bergamot and lavender definitely project a lot when I wear this anyway. But for me, mostly, it's a tonka bean and vanilla scent with a little bit of licorice, a little bit of citrus, and you do have that powdery iris in there too. I think people perceive this one differently, but this is a very timeless, classy, chic fragrance. You're definitely going to smell feminine when you wear this. You could also kind of emit that kind of powerful CEO vibes too. It's a very strong girl fragrance, but I think this is so beautiful. You could wear this to work, you could wear this to an event. It's very versatile and that is why it is made for the list because I think it is such a classic that can see you through all seasons and all occasions. So I couldn't do a feminine fragrances video without mentioning this one. It's one of my favorites. I've spoken about it in far too many videos now, so I do apologize in advance. And that is La Perla Possibilities. Taking the cap off as usual, very reflective. But La Perla Possibilities is an ultra feminine fragrance, in my opinion, with a little bit of sex appeal too. So in essence, it's a very floral fragrance, as are a lot of the other La Perla fragrances from this collection. But what makes this stand out is you've got this really beautiful pink pepper throughout. And on me, it's quite spicy. But ultimately, I can smell the pepper from here. But ultimately, it's very floral and it's done so beautifully. I'm a sucker for a freesian though. It gives this really kind of fresh, dewy, watery vibe. Has lots of rose in there too. Has petalia, it has orange blossom. It has black currant. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So many of you have told me that you have tried La Perla Possibilities and loved it. I think a few people it wasn't for them, but that's the case with any fragrance. Anyway, we all suit different scent profiles and our nose perceives fragrances differently. But to me, this is ultra feminine. I love how floral it is. It does have a woody dry down very slightly, but I would say the pink pepper lasts throughout on my skin chemistry anyway. And so do all of those floral notes. Absolutely beautiful. Can't recommend it highly enough. It gives me a total vibe. The next one to me had to make this list. It's an ultra feminine fragrance. And again, it would make a beautiful bridal scent. And that is by Belong. And this time it is Angelique Noir. And this one is maybe my favorite fragrance within the La Arts collection. It is so beautiful. It is not a beast mode fragrance by any means. It's just so elegant, so refined. I just think it is so feminine. It's going to emit that pretty girl energy. And the pear note in here is so, so special. So it has a pear, angelica, it has vanilla, a little bit of pink pepper, but not too much. Vanilla and cedar. But what I mostly get is that beautiful kind of green angelica note. So this is a very green vanilla fragrance. It's not ultra sweet, but at the same time, it is very sweet. But I think the greenness from the angelica balances this out so it's not too sickly sweet. The pear note is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And you do get a little bit of earthiness in there from the pepper. Yeah, this is just beautiful. If you want to smell pretty, I would highly recommend trying out Angelique Noir. Like I said, perfect bridal scent. It could be a first date kind of scent. 
any any special occasion where you're dressed up and you just want to feel beautiful this would be the one i would highly recommend this as like a meet the parents first dates those types of occasion it's one that i would only reach for for special occasions i wouldn't just want to wear this every day personally just because i think this is so so gorgeous and yeah angelique noir is very special and last but by no means least we have initio's atomic rose and i wanted to put a bit of a stronger scent in here now this is definitely very pretty still very feminine but again it edges towards slightly more sexy but it doesn't completely go there in my opinion now for anyone who loves delina this is the older sister to delina in my opinion it's a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit more refined just my personal opinion anyway and this is a very peppery rose different from possibilities because possibilities has a lot more florals in here whereas this is more dominant within the rose this makes me so happy it's a very sentimental fragrance for me so you get a big blast of pink pepper followed by the rose and then you have a little bit of bergamot in there too but the feeling i get when i wear this is I don't know, it's hard to explain because it is sentimental. So my partner actually bought me this fragrance. It's the type of fragrance I would wear on a date night or on a special occasion. I would wear this to maybe someone else's wedding or a formal occasion. I just think it's super, super pretty and very likeable too. It does have vanilla and amber in the base, but truly I mostly get a pink pepper and rose fragrance. It's sweet, but not too sweet at all totally feminine very pretty so many of you have probably tried atomic rose or anything similar to delina please do let me know in the comments if you've tried this one and if you like it so that was a roundup of my top 10 feminine pretty girl fragrances now i don't have too many feminine pretty girl fragrances in my collection i typically would go for kind of the sexy fragrance or maybe the more unisex style fragrances however like i said at the beginning of the video I have been leaning more towards this category recently. I've been really enjoying my kind of pretty feminine, softer fragrances, and I would like to discover more. So please do let me know your top recommendations for feminine leaning fragrances, ones that just make you feel your best self and that make you feel ultra pretty because I want to research them and I would like to sample some more. I'd like to grow this category of my collection so yeah, please do let me know your recommendations in the comments below. But thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I love chatting with you, even though I'm kind of virtually chatting to you, but you know what I mean. So I hope to see you all soon in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.